Good morning, Marilyn. We're starting off a little bit colder than yesterday. Many locations waking up right around freezing this morning, dealing with that freezing mark over towards Essex, sitting at 32 degrees, along with Columbia 34, a little bit milder across central portions of Harford County, sitting in the upper 30s in Annapolis and Stevensville, so a tad bit warmer to the south of the city. Here's a look at your school day forecast. We are looking at partly cloudy skies as the kids hop on the bus. They don't need to worry about wearing the rain jacket this morning. Morning, uh, just have them bring the umbrella with them because they will likely need it for the bus ride home as those showers will start to work in mid 40s right around lunchtime and then climbing near 50 degrees right around the three o'clock hour. So here's a look at satellite and radar. We are dealing with mostly clear skies at this moment, which is helping our temperatures to start off colder than we were 24 hours ago. I'm keeping my eye on this storm system that's impacting portions of the mid and even upper Midwest. You can see right now a lot of snowfall currently happening just to the south of Minneapolis, out towards Omaha, Nebraska, and of course, frequent lightning strikes really being detected on radar this morning, traveling through portions of Tennessee and even Kentucky. Once again, we have wind advisories that go into effect starting this morning at 7 o'clock through 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon as winds are going to be very gusty for the entire region. Winds could be gusting up to 50 miles per hour when it's all said and done, so that could definitely knock down some trees, give Given the fact that the soil is still a little bit saturated. So taking a look at your flood threat, we do have another flood threat on tap. So this is not looking good for the Anne Arundel County shoreline. We have coastal flood advisories for most areas up and down the eastern shore that go into effect late tonight through Saturday morning. Flood watches to the northwest of the Beltway and even to the Bay through 6 o'clock Saturday morning. So a lot of this wind could actually help push some more water along the Anne Arundel County shoreline as the tides could be running up to three feet above normal. The next high tide later today, 618 PM. Taking a look at rainfall amounts, we're not expected to deal with as much rain as we dealt with on Tuesday, but it's still not looking good for the Anne Arundel County shoreline as they don't need any more rain. We could experience rainfall totals about a half inch to an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter when it's all said and done. So not nearly as much rain as Tuesday, but it's still again going to cause some headaches, some localized instances of flooding across the area. Rain starts to move in late this afternoon and also persists into the evening. This is when we could experience some periods of heavy rain from time to time and our winds will be very gusty. They are expected to peak this evening throughout your Saturday, staying gusty throughout the majority of the upcoming weekend. And temperatures will really take a hit, especially as we head into early next week. Look at this seven day forecast. It's all over the place, so something for everyone. Temps drop on Sunday, winds still stay gusty, and there is the potential of a wintry mix heading into Tuesday.